When we think about mining in Canada right now, one of the bigger conversations is around critical minerals. But in the Yukon, it's critical minerals and it's gold. Um, we've got some really exciting things that have been happening within our uh, jurisdiction. We've got this emerging area called the Tombstone Gold Belt. We think it is gonna lead to a very promising economic future for the Yukon. You know, one thing is the mineral endowment is really great in Yukon. You've got a, a fantastic territory full of minerals that are really ripe for uh, exploration in a really underexplored area. But that exploration that's being done is, is really being productive at this point. Exploration in the Yukon really began in the 1850s, and then we had the gold rush in the late 1800s. And from that point on, uh, a lot of new discoveries were made, but that pace is really accelerated with the application of new technology. We've really seen the addition of new discoveries since the 2000s, where Alexco and now Hecla are adding significant resources to the Keno Silver District. And with Metallic Minerals, our recent announcement of 18 million ounces added to the district total of silver ounces uh, discovered in the last couple of decades. We've spent a long time exploring in the Klondike. That investment has now paid off. And I'm going to demonstrate this year, 2024, that there are discoveries to be made that are world-class in the Klondike. It's just incredible finds, like actually uh, nation-leading projects. Um, so we're very focused on ensuring the right infrastructure is in place. We're looking to see that the great partnerships are in place between those mining companies and the local First Nations. And really the sky's the limit on what can happen with some of the work that's being done in that area.